Hi Capricorn, welcome to this reading. You might find it resonates more though if this is your um, moon or rising sign, but let's see. So, okay, wow. Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Reverse, Two Nines. Something could be close to completion. I'm hearing they don't want it to be close to completion. So I wonder if the thing that they're anxious and worried about is that you might be completing your um, journey with them, full stop. That, you know, that's something they could be wondering is that something you're going to do? Is that how you're thinking? Is that how you're feeling? Um, with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, they could have got it into their head that you're going to commit to someone else if you're not already committed. Um, you know, that you're not going to hang about forever and people are going to notice you because with the Nine of Pentacles, you're clearly a catch here. Okay, what else, please? My viewer's person, what is her message for my viewer? Yeah, look, death reverse, definitely. Okay, Knight of Wands. And we have death reverse, some Scorpio energy here. Wow. The message here from your person right now is I'm really, really worried that you are going to go off and have fun and be with someone else, that you're going to get up and enjoy your life as you should. Um, and you're not going to wait around for me who's being morose and taking a long time. And maybe, you know, this person's played games with you in the past as well. So they really, really are worried that things are about to end completely. And that's going to be that which they don't want to happen. I do also feel with this Knight of Wands, you know, going back to the, the wine and, and the cheese tasting sort of thing, whether that's your, I wanted to say whether that's your vibe or not, you know, whether you're interested in that or not, I, I feel that your person does want to do something here with you that's fun, um, that they would enjoy, that you would enjoy, in a way almost to rescue things, to remind you that they can be fun, things aren't always so heavy with them. Okay, what else? Page of Pentacles. Yes, for some of you, this offer will actually come in. Um, let's clarify. Can we have a bit more, please, about this Page of Pentacles? This is an offer they do want to give to you, and they might be overthinking it. They might be thinking of different kinds of offers. Oh, Page of Swords. Yes, two, um, two pages, messengers. But also, um, the Page of Swords, they have been watching you with a specific intention of trying to understand what do you like? What kind of offer might you accept from them? Three of Cups reversed. Okay, so they want to do something private, just the both of you. Knight of Cups reversed. I will say, if they come around and they're acting like it's a friendly thing to do, there's a hidden ulterior motive, which is romance. So it's always like a date without calling it a date. Um, so if you get an, an invite to go somewhere to do something and you're thinking, is this... What is this? <laughs> you know, is it is it a date? Are we just spending time? It's like a an unspoken date, at least in your person's mind. That's what they're hoping for. Okay. For some of you, they could be thinking back as well over the past, over a memory. Um, say you spent some time around each other with other people present, and they might have wished, or they wish now, sorry, that they were more openly romantic with you, that they let you know how they um, felt. For some of you, it could be that the thing that's causing them so much panic and worry is they haven't expressed their feelings. And they're thinking, well, if you don't know how they feel, you're going to be open to other um, people here. And I mean, I think you do know how they feel, but uh, you know, if they haven't said it, they might worry that you don't, you don't know. Okay, what else? Messages please from this person. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now this is interesting. They're seeing you in some kind of in-between stage. So let's say you're in a relationship with someone who is not this person you're asking about today. There might have been a point in time or a window of opportunity where perhaps you and this person here had a conversation and it was sort of like, okay, what's going on here? Um, we need to be serious because I'm married or I'm in a relationship. You know, I have these feelings. What are we going to do? Are we are we going to change our lives around and, and separate from respective partners if we have them? And, and you know, that sort of thing. And no decision was made. So your person's feeling like that window is closing. You're just basically going to double down in your existing relationship or with your existing commitments. Um, if that's not the situation, again, it goes back to this fear that your person has that you're not going to be out there single forever. You know, the Nine of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, we're going from someone who's minding their own business, doing their own thing, who's, you know, to someone being in a commitment, in a relationship. So this is weighing heavily on their mind. If you are in a relationship, but you're not yet married, 
you know, just someone else, then this person is, is worrying that at some point soon you're going to get married and make it like, um, you know, involve a signed physical sort of contract. Um, and it might be harder for them to have a chance with you. Well, in their mind, of course, they won't have a chance at this point. Um, I'm not seeing any mention of them having a third party. And I know for some of you, they absolutely do. But this is telling me that they are not really, they don't, hmm, the third party on their side, if they have a third party in your particular situation, is not of interest to them. And you might be saying, well, great, <laughs> you know, but the, the third party is still a factor. Well, yes, true. Um, but they're, they're not even bringing this third party up because their focus is on you. Um, okay, let's keep going. So messages, please, from this person to my viewer. Eight of Wands reversed. Three of Pentacles, yeah. This is a really clear focused message that they want to invite you somewhere to do something. They want to have fun with you. They also want to find a way for both of you to focus on something together and rebuild um, because they almost feel like that's going to glue you together if you've got this shared focus, whatever that focus is. Now, we only have one major arcana that tells me the energy here is moving very very quickly your person also feels that a lot of this is in their hands you know they're not sort of sitting here waiting for some divine timing or anything like that they're thinking um you know day to day okay um maybe i should say this maybe i should invite you know you the viewer to this place let me let me check this place out see if they have any openings bookings whatever you know um so this is your person thinking actively every day. It's not them, you know, waiting for lightning to strike or anything like that. Okay, that is a pretty direct, clear message. So I do feel for some of you, you will hear from this person with the two pages. You will get this message and this invite. Um, let's have a look at this Eight of Wands and then we'll move into the message cards. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed, please? The star in reverse, Aquarius energy there. Oof, the tower on the back, more Scorpio. Okay, so yeah, so for, you know, others of you here, your person's almost frozen because they are terrified of coming forward because there could have been like a big argument or something like that. So if you're in a, in a situation where things didn't just fizzle out or go quiet, you have like an explosive situation. I think they're more nervous about coming forward because they kind of feel that the situation is a bit more hopeless and that they're not going to get the answer that they want because you're kind of done with them. So if that's the situation um, and you're not done with them, you might want to give them some indication that you're kind of open to speaking with them. And if you've tried that already and got nothing, well, of course, you know, I wouldn't say to do it again unless you want to. Okay, so what messages do we have, please? Um, I'm, oh, look at this. I'm working on a plan to surprise you. Yes. Sorry. I'm working on a plan to surprise you right now and don't want you to have a clue about when, where or how it's coming. Surrender to the mystery. It will be worth the wait. Yes. So as I said, some of you will get this offer, this page of pentacles offer. And they are looking into the details in the background because they don't want to suggest something or invite you somewhere and you, you know, say yes. And then they're overjoyed and then they go to make a booking and it's, it's full. I mean, that would not look good. Some of my friends and or family don't approve of you, but I don't care. I'll be mourning those, these people if they don't come around to back me up on what truly makes me happy. I know it will be sad, but for the best. Okay, so if other people were a problem in the past, look, three of cups reversed, they're saying, well, that's, that's fine because um, I'll just cut those people out. Um, you know, I will choose you over them. I will choose my own happiness over their issues with us. Um, I'm very sick or someone close to me is. I don't want to burden you with the situation, so I'm just taking care of it right now. That could possibly be what the tower is. If you didn't have, um, you know, a big argument or anything, it could be that for some of you, they're holding off for now because they've had their own tower moment. And with the star reverse, they're trying to just, you know, themselves back up and get their energy back and to feel more hopeful about their life and their future and that sort of thing, you know, um, if they're feeling quite, well, they could be feeling devastated, to be honest, so they're working on that first. 
I would do absolutely anything for you. I'd go to the end of the earth. I will prove this in time once we come together. You know who I truly am and I plan to make this up to you. So lots of planning is going on. Okay, let's get a few more cards and see. Gosh, this is a very quick reading today. It's just such a clear message, you know, so... It is what it is, I suppose. Okay, messages please for my viewer from this person on their mind. Escape, I left when things got hard. Some of you could have been ghosted. They just suddenly disappeared. Ah, uh, I was just gonna say that's something they regret and then we get regret. I wish this never happened. Also, let's say you and this person were moving things forward, you were getting to know each other, talking, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then the people around them, family and or friends, started um, saying things to your person that could have put the pressure on them and, and that could have sort of contributed to them pulling away or leaving or ghosting or whatever happened. And now they're saying, I wish I didn't do that. You know, I wish I treated you better. I wish I told those people to mind their own business. Detachment, I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. So yes, I do think in the meantime, they um, have spent a lot of time thinking, watching you, seeing things more clearly. And we have dishonesty by lying, I ripped us apart. And I do feel for, you know, some of you that dishon dishonesty from your person was, I don't have feelings, what are you talking about? This is just, you know, it's just friendship um, with that Knight of Cups reverse. There's nothing romantic here. And then look, third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. Oh, and secrets popping out. You know, it's interesting because this is on the back of the deck. And I know for a fact that for a lot of you watching, some third party in one form or another, person, otherwise romantic, otherwise, is a factor here on your person's side. Um, but this card didn't come through until the end of the reading on the back of the final deck. I wonder if that is a problem in and of itself, your person's reluctance, refusal, awkwardness around discussing a third party personal situation on their end. You know, let's just keep, let's just ignore that. I, I kind of want to keep that situa situation away from you. It's, it's something I'm trying to keep secret or hidden. Um, we don't need to talk about the fact that my parents are interfering or that work is a problem or that I'm married. You know, let's, let's talk about that. Let's just have a nice time together. But of course, things can't progress beyond a certain point. So that could have been a problem in and of itself. Okay, before we go, let me just get you a message of guidance and advice from Spirit. Okay, so let's have a look and see what the guidance and advice is for today. The number 19, She of the Woods, Peace, Connection and Home. Okay, let's see what this says. When she reached out her senses, she realized she was not separate from nature, she is nature. When she slowed down and took a break, she realized she could find peace because peace needed to come from within her. She taps into source energy by taking time out for her, taking time to slow down, tune out by tuning in and understanding she's connected to everything. Um, have you made a connection to where you live, the property you reside on or the surrounding area in which you call home? Have you asked the spirits of the place to show you how you can honour the land? So this to me feels like taking time out, connecting with nature, um, maybe things to do with your home, beautifying your home or garden or, you know, the area around your home. Um, but really doing what you need to, to feel like you've bedded down, you've got a sanctuary, you've got a place of peace, a place where you can disconnect. Um, so grounding, really, I suppose. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped and see you soon. Bye.